I, uh, I have to escort this owl hood back to territorial jail. Well, there's no one stopping you, Sheriff. The stagecoach should be passing about now. Good, we'll be on it. In case of danger, I prefer the comfort of a stagecoach. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> It's good for you. Oh. Please, can I have a drink? <clears throat> oh, come on, mister. I'm thirsty, huh? Go on. Give me some of that, please, will you? Hey, I don't drink with cutthroats. No. Okay. Dear sir, you are sitting in front of the famous Gypsy <laughs> Boots. Carat of the West. That's right. He ain't kidding. A me sembra un ladro di galline più che altro, no? Galline? Possono essere un ottimo investimento. E quindi hanno diritto alla protezione, come gli uomini. Da linea a uomini fa lo stesso. L'importante è far soldi. <ride> oh, pardon. Till I give you the high side. Oh, oh. You got room for a couple of passengers? Suppose there is. Come aboard, but we gotta warn you. We're kind of dangerous prisoner and you can't talk to him. I reckon not. Come on, Dolph.
young to see this. Now, wait a minute. You want to kill yourself? All right. Oh, go. Slob brother of yours now, move it. All right. Hey. Oh. That's nice, Cassidy. Who yeah. gave you that badge, huh? Battlefield decoration. Now look, he's all upset. Dolph! Dolph, I told you to get that slob of a brother. Leave him alone, sugar. Don't even bother with him. He's drunk. But why do I have to put up with that? On your feet, cowboy. We're closing. Hmm. I'm not finished yet. No? No. Now you have one dollar, please. Ciao. 
Charlie, bring the baby. Welcome back to Erhers. <laughs> you look pretty awful. <laughs> I shouldn't tell you, but I know who you are. I saw you once in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Hey! I couldn't stand seeing them beat you up like they did. I was waiting for you to do something. They worked you over. All right, you can't stay here all night. Better come to my house. I can't, af I can't afford to pay, so forget it, honey. All I got's a, a smile. All right. Just a smile will do. Naughty boy. You shouldn't leave things like this lying on the street. Mm. A man can get hurt. Hmm?
can I change? In there. Mm. Uh, you're sure you're the proprietor? Yeah, sure, sure. Don't worry. Fine. There's an outlaw in there. Really? Good job. Uh, now, could I say something in good belts, please? Uh, there's really an outlaw in there. I'm telling you, it's rude. Evening. I'd like a pair of boots, a hat, suspenders, a gun belt. Come on. Uh, what's this? I don't get you. I'd like to know what's going on. It's a bandit. Uh -oh. Hey, Dolph. Guess you better get the sheriff. Hey, Sheriff. You got a job here? Yeah, Sheriff. This here storekeeper tells me there's an outlaw in the back room. Yes, that's right. In that back room. But... I don't have my gun. Uh, do you have a gun to lend me? You heard him. You know, good. Gypsy, really beautiful. <laughs> oh, my heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Necesitamos muchas cosas. <risa> Lo mejor son los precios, ¿no, jefe? Sí. Aquí hay de todo. <risa> Un forajido. Hay que buscar fundas para esto. Toma esto. Eh, gracias. Es bonito. Esto me lo quedo yo. Creo que ya es hora de que te cambies de camisa. Fíjate en casa. ¿Qué diablos te has puesto? No puedo creerlo. Estás muy elegante. Es la clase de ropa que me gusta. Ah, vaya. <risa> Ahí va. <risa>
babe. <laughs> well, how in the hell are you, babe? Anything exciting happened at all since we've been here last, eh? <laughs> sure. Lots of things. The flowers bloom and the flowers die. Saddle tramps dropped in and saddle tramps dropped out. <laughs> beer. No beer. Shoot off your mouth so much, babe. That's right. Where is he? Who? Where is he? Who? <laughs> you know. No, I don't. You know damn well who I mean. Let me give you a little piece of advice, friend. Don't be in such a hurry to meet up with them. Oh, I've seen a lot of heroes like you. And it always turns out the same. There's a winner, and there's a loser. So do yourself a favor and don't look too hard. to you and Tora, babe. So they gave me a name in Mexico. El Puro. The Cigar. Exactly love life. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid to die. Killing to stay alive. Yeah, I just gotta keep killing. <laughs> and in these parts, even a preacher would kick his own mother in the face for a ten thousand dollar reward. Yeah, there's always someone out there, just waiting for the right moment to pull the trigger. If there's time enough to do it. I mean, what the hell? If I send one off to a better life, there's always another to take his place. Never ends. So 
Sometimes I get kicked around a little. I take it. The longer I keep them from knowing who I am, the longer I last. I understand. saresti qui più che mi vai in giro più rischi la pelle e se un giorno anche questo posto diventasse troppo pericoloso andiamo da un'altra parte non so l'un vale l'altro credimi e quello che basta per uno basta per due Sai, il Texas è pieno di cowboys che vogliono spassarsela. Dopo tanti mesi di montagna passati anni. Within a year, I'll have saved a lot of money. 
We'll kiss this life goodbye. I'll buy us a ranch. Nothing grand, but enough to scratch out a living on. Like I said before, honey, what's enough for one is enough for two. morning. People around here say that you're the only one who knows where El Pura is hiding. They also say that he's uh, some kind of partner of yours. The man who sells guns and tequila to the Navajos and poor protects them. So, uh, that's what they say? Yeah. Listen, I like you and I want to make a deal. Now, in return for a little cooperation, we're going to cut you in to a full partnership. What do you think of that? My name is Gypsy, and these are my partners. That's Tim. He's a child molester. That's Cassidy. He's a bit of a degenerate. And Dolph. <laughs> he's like a lamp. Sometimes he shines bright, and sometimes he's very dim. fine boys. <laughs> Listen, this is a big land and it's rich. There's plenty for all of us. Now you think it over. If you come back with old Puro, better bring your gun with you. If not, we'll find you. It's your decision. It's simply a matter of life or death. His. Oh, yours. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good day. Meglio che te ne vai, sai, bello mio. Questa volta non te la cavi solamente con un bel mal di testa. Questa volta, giuro, ti conviene pagare. Hai capito? Un altro? Sugar, chi c'è? C'è uno che vuole assolutamente te. <ride> e quelli che vorrei io non si accorgono nemmeno che esista. Puro, c'è un man qui che dice che è il tuo partner. Fernando. I took him upstairs. I didn't tell him anything. Puro, be careful. He's in the second room. Amigo. Just how the hell did you find me this time? Oh, the Navajos are my friends and they have sharp eyes. <laughs> Perhaps once you commanded the respect of all those poor bastards. Walking the earth. <laughs> Go on. <clears throat> but now things have changed. New legends replace the old. I'm a sentimentalist. No, senor. El Puro is not dead. He's only sleeping. And I've got $3,000 to wake him up. Five years ago, when I met you, you were legend. People raised their sombreros when they saw you pass in the streets. Men respected you. Now you've changed and people don't believe in your legend. Oh, it's a pity, you know. Hmm. There's a certain man called Gypsy. Out looking for you. He's telling everybody. You're scared of him. Uh, people are beginning to talk. And that's no good for you or for my business. Is that all you think about is your business? <laughs> what else is there? Well, now, there's a $10,000 reward you could get. Oh, that's a nice thing to say to an old friend who does not like to hear you called Jello. I need you to keep my customers in line. And it's more important to me than $10,000. Do me a favor. Yes? Forget you found me if you're such a good friend. Perhaps you are no longer such legend. But there is one thing I'm sure of, amigo. 
You are not dumb. All right. But give me a few days to dry out. If I see Gypsy around, can I tell him to expect you? You're crazy, sir. I don't think so, Gypsy. Let's go. I said, let's go. Mm -hmm. No one's ever escaped from my prison, even men more important than you. Come on, Gypsy. Be a good boy. I'm not a boy, mister. Well, I intend to take you in. You're wanted in every corner of this territory, and you're not getting away with it. I've got my duty. Your duty or your life. Choose. Now, Gypsy, you just have to go ahead and kill me then. Please don't move. Please. Please don't move. Gypsy, your friend is smart. Yeah, I'm very smart. I followed uh, Fernando over to Silvertown, and he didn't even know it. Hmm? That's smart, huh? That's mm. pretty goddamn smart. Yeah, you're pretty smart, Cassidy. Try to behave yourselves like brothers.
you can. Where is he? I said, where is he? or my death and yours. All over the West, they'll say that you're the one that buried him. That's what you want, isn't it? I used to come and watch you shoot. One day you fell to the ground. I ran to the fields to get my father, and he carried you here. Them, senor. Father says I should ask you first. Si. 
Senor, your horse has become fatter since you came here. I've been giving him some of the very best hay and a fine bed. He is a good beast, Senor, but you don't take good care of him. But now he feels better. I have washed and curried him. We have become friends. Are you... Uh, I, are you my friend, too? Of course, senor. What's your name? Antonio. And yours? I gotta go see someone. Mm -hmm. Wait for me, will you?
Rosie. You'll never see your ranch. That's what you get for hitching up with a killer. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. I knew it would happen. Forgive me, Rosie. Forgive me. There he is, Sheriff. Cowboy. What did I tell you, Sheriff? Hang this bastard. They're all alike. First they tell you, you need a man, blah, 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 blah. And then they kill you because you don't give them the money they need. Come on, cowboy, let's go. Even though she was a whore, you can have your neck stretched for this here. <laughs> Come on, move. <laughs> He is, Sheriff. The one that killed the girl. He confessed to me. Now, string him up and let the poor cowboy out of jail. Why did he confess to you? Hmm. He mistook me for a priest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my arm! <laughs> Why did you have to break his arm? I didn't break his arm. He fell off the horse. Kill me. You see, he's confessing. Oh, for the love of God, kill me. He wants to die. Do your duty, Sheriff. If he hadn't talked, I would have given you some of the same medicine that you gave him. Well, now, get out of here before I think better of it. I only did what anyone that respects the law would do. Get going, and don't come back again. Set foot in this town again, get it, cowboy? And that goes double for that Mexican that sprung you. Here, take your last desire with you.
Buenos días, amigo. How are you, partner? You have two days to do what you promised, Puro. After that, I'll be on their side. And you'll have to get rid of me, too. You! You bastard. Only you could kill a woman like that. You got loco, amigo. Why should I kill her? She never did me any harm. Maybe. And maybe you thought with her out of the way, I'd come back to Mexico and work for you. And then there's always the, uh... Ten... Thousand dollars. Now I know that you're loco, amigo mio. It is true that I want you back, but you're worth more to me alive. Look all the trouble I went to to get you out of jail. Finding such a cooperative Mexican hmm, was not easy. All right. You didn't kill her. I'm sure you know who did. Gypsy. Yes. I know it was Gypsy. One of his hyenas followed me into Silver Town. In a little church near Glorieta. Be careful, amigo. There are five of Senor, sit down and eat with us. Senor. Why not? Gracias. Are you going far, senor? All the way. Senor. Thank you. And your horse is ready. Gracias. Oh, you may need this, Senor. It gets cold. Gracias.
Senor? Why don't you stay with us? I'd love to. Look who's here. Babe. Haven't seen you in a while. Well, I've been kind of busy. Come on over and have a drink with me. You're looking fine. Have you heard? Dave's dead. Shot in the back when he least expected it. A man's got to be real careful around these parts. He thought he was so smart, too. He uh, always said that no one would ever get him. Huh? Well, that's what happens when a man gets careless. A man can never be too careful around these parts. They get you when you think you got it made, and that's a fact, friend. my regular room. The one with the bed facing the door. Uh, you expecting anyone in particular? Yep. A man called Gypsy. <laughs> Are you all right? Yep. Thanks.
Who did this to you, Dolph? It, it, it was. Tell me who it was, kid. I'll, I'll get him. Tell me, Dolph. Who was it? Hold yourself together, Tim. Who was it, kid? It was him. It was him. The man was El Puro. El Puro. That dirty, low-down scum. I'll kill him. I'll get him. Tim, please. Get me my chain back. The one Maggie. The one she gave to me. As though Ma was with me. As though Ma. This game is getting too dangerous for me. If a Puro has come out of hiding, it means he knows we're gunning for him. And that could be bad. It's too late to nail him down by surprise. He's the hunter instead of us. And that changes the odds a little, doesn't it, now? I guess you could end up like like poor Darth out there, rest his soul. But not I. No, no. So count me out of your little party. some coffee for you. I, I figured you might be needing some by now, huh? Are you all right? You always said I made the best goddamn cup of coffee in the West.
Forget your coat. Everyone in town knows why you're here. They're all up and hiding behind their windows. Waiting. There's some as wouldn't mind seeing you get it. But I know the man who could put you into Boot Hill ain't been born yet. Did you hear what I said? I said the man who could put you into Boot Hill ain't been born yet. Gypsy could be the beginning of the end, but I am here, amigo. I reckon I'll know just where you are when I see who's behind your line of fire. <laughs> After so many years, you should know that I'm on the side always of the winner. There'll be only three of them. Specs just probably won't be here. He values his life. Don't we all?
Watch the shotgun. If he shoots first, he'll blow your head off. The rocking chair legend. All right, get up. shoot old men in rocking chairs. Mm -hmm. 